Last week, 23 young ladies from Aranda's Pants High School attended the 5th Annual Women in Industry Conference at Galveston's Moody Gardens Convention Center. The jobs that are going to be opening in the next 5 to 10 years could be filled by students, high school students that are graduating from here, or they could be filled by people, young people from other areas outside of Texas. We got sponsored by Camours, which is one of the area industry uh, people who supported the the conference and the coolest thing was is we met a lot of different people from Camours. they sponsored our trip and spent about six thousand dollars on the girl, girls paid for her t-shirts paid for their the um, hotel cost and also the food and transportation for us to go there we got to um just experience some of the stuff the day beforehand and explore a little bit and the next day the day of the conference we went and we went to different breakout sessions and listened to different speakers um, uh, for most of the day. And we got breakfast and lunch and we got a lot of prizes and it was a lot of fun. The One Day Women in Industry Conference introduced women to careers and opportunities available in the petrochemical industry and industrial trades. Career fields long dominated by males, but now open to women. Uh, the ladies were able to hear women who were who had actually started out in the field of welding electrical plumbing instrumentation um, and had worked some of them had worked their way up to CEOs uh, such as our keynote speaker from Exxon okay what I took from the conference was that um, they even though like there are a lot of industries that are overpowered by men they still do need a lot of women and all the qualities that women can bring like paying attention to detail and stuff like that and coming in on time and all these other different qualities that women have, I guess that is more common in women than men. The students heard from women who worked in the industry and also had the opportunity to talk with college representatives about enrollment, financial aid, and other training related issues. So when I came into the conference, I thought it was going to be all nothing but hands on and getting dirty and all that type of work style. But in my opinion, I really don't like to get that dirty. So I asked them um, if there's any other way or any other um, different jobs that I could do inside the industry. And there actually is. They told me about their communications department and their writing and their advertising department and stuff. So I found out that there is ways for me to go into the industry too. This event also provided opportunities for participants to meet industry representatives from companies like ExxonMobil, Comores, Chevron Phillips, Notex, Jacobs, and others. The breakout sessions were extremely helpful to the girls. Uh, they taught interpersonal skills, uh, inter interviewing skills, soft skills, um, and then there was even one company who was there that was that we got to speak to that would have spoken, that were literally speaking to each girl. They actually worked in the industries and so these women worked out on the field and they were willing to talk to the girls one-on-one -on -one and let them know. I definitely felt empowered with this conference. There was a lot of motivational women speaking um, because it is such a male dominant field that the women speaking were very empowering. This conference was designed for all women, the unemployed, underemployed, high school and college students, veterans, and women in transition who desire a stable and well-paying career. Um, I would like to really say a big thank you to Susan Boza and to Stephanie Hadachek. They were two people who were instrumental with Camores in helping us just get this off the ground, get t-shirts ordered, get our um, hotel reservations, get everything booked, and the donation of the $6,000 for our girls individually was just, we could not have done that without them. So we really appreciated that donation to our foundation.